Now, after today, you may be wondering what to do with your Christmas tree, and KSNT News reporter Lindley Lund joins us live, and she may have a solution for you on that one. Lindley? Molly, having a real Christmas tree is all fun and games until you have to tear it down and figure out where to haul it off to. However, starting tomorrow, I've got the perfect solution, and it's right here in Gage Park. They have a spot saved just east of the Horseshoe Court parking lot off Gage Boulevard. All you have to do is drop off your tree right by this orange fence. But what happens with them? Well, the Topeka Zoo takes them and uses them for the animals. So you have so you have to make sure you get every ornament, decoration lights, all the things off before dropping it off. And you can drop off your Christmas trees until January 8th, which just so happens to be my birthday. So if you want to continue the Christmas cheer for a little while longer, no worries. Just make sure you drop off your trees before then. Live in Topeka, Lindley Lund, KSNT News. Thank you, Lindley. Did you say it was her birthday? On January 8th. When, we'll be counting now. Yeah, when you have until to uh, drop off the trees. Make sure you bring Lindley a, a little something, too. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, for sure. That's why she slipped that Do one in there. Do it for her. <laughs> and don't delay because there is just two weeks to drop off your tree. Yeah, like Lindley said, if you don't get a chance to jot down all those details, though, we've got them all on our website for you. You can find a map of exactly where to go to drop that off on KSNT.com.